As you install Windows 11 and out of the box, it's a complete mess with much lower performance and snappiness than Windows 10. So here's what I'm gonna be doing and what you need to do after installing Windows 11 in order to completely optimize Windows 11 for gaming and performance in 2023. We're gonna be using a combination of tools, tweaks and settings to increase the performance of Windows 11 and give it a much needed boost. But quickly guys, if you want zero ping in any game that you play, then check out the gear up booster from the link in the description as it provides you with the optimal network routes giving you zero ping and packet loss in every game. So go down into the description and download the Europe booster now and now let's get back into the video. So as you guys can see that I've just recently set up my Windows 11 and I haven't applied any of the optimizations. Aside from installing a few of games and softwares, the Windows is basically completely stuck. So the very first thing that I would recommend you to do and what I did was go into the start menu and open up the settings and then go into the accounts. Inside of here, just make sure that you log out of your Microsoft account. The reason for that is pretty simple because Microsoft account uses a lot of telemetry which causes not only performance issues but as well as privacy issues. So if you have your Microsoft account logged in, just go into the sign in options, log out of that one and log into a new local account. Once you are done with that, you can close out of this and now we can move on to the next step. And that is to go down into the description of this video and download the Windows 11 optimization pack. Since it is a zip file, just go ahead and extract it using 7-zip WinRAR or whatever you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up and drag the folder out of it. Once the pack has been extracted, go ahead and open it up and inside of here you will find two folders as well as a setup. So the first thing that you want to do is open up the GPU optimizations and of course inside of here you want to download your GPU drivers whether you are using an AMD GPU or an NVIDIA GPU. As you guys can already see however, I have already downloaded and installed the NVIDIA drivers since those are required to record this video. But yeah, that is the first thing that you want to do and as for the best drivers, just go ahead and download the latest ones right now because those are the ones that are working the best at the moment. Once you're done with that, go back into the pack, open up the GPU settings and go into the folder that corresponds with your GPU. So I am using the NVIDIA GPU, I'm gonna go ahead and open up NVIDIA settings and the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and apply the NVIDIA GPU tweak start reg. So double click on it, hit yes and then hit ok. Now that that has been done, what I'm gonna do next is open up the NVIDIA inspector and then I'm just gonna go ahead and drag the RectinTex profile onto the NVIDIA profile inspector. It's going to successfully import the profile and this profile has everything from the visible settings to the secret settings as well as all the custom settings that I personally use and why I have created this. So all you need to do is just drag it onto here and then hit ok. And now if you go ahead and open up your NVIDIA control panel, you're gonna go ahead and see that all of the changes have been applied. So as you guys can see that inside of my 3D settings, all of the changes have already been applied and it's all thanks to the profile. But not only that, it also changes a lot of the hidden settings that are only visible inside of the profile inspector. So yeah, you can then go ahead and go back and in case you're using an AMD GPU, just open up the AMD settings, apply this and then just copy all of these settings as well as do the same thing for the Intel ones. So once you are done with the GPU, optimizations you can go ahead and go back into the pack and open up the svc split hole threshold now this one is basically for grouping of services and the svc processes so if i go into the uh, task manager by right clicking on the taskbar and opening up the task manager and inside of here i go into the background apps as you guys can see that there are going to be a lot of these service host controllers or these service host services or processes whatever you want to call them and if i open up the performance and go inside of the cpu you can see that currently more than a hundred 160 processes are running and the only thing that I'm using are the audacity the OBS a notepad and that's basically it but you guys can see that more than 150 processes are running inside of here so we're gonna be going ahead and reducing those by applying this you can go ahead and open up the readme to check out how this works and how to basically use it but basically what you want to do is check the amount of RAM that you have and then apply the registry file accordingly so for me I am using 16 gigs of RAM so I'm gonna go ahead and double click on 16 GB hit yes hit OK now if you're using anything above 32 gigs then just go ahead and apply the 32 gigs one it's going to work completely fine now the next time that you restart your pc it's going to group most of those services under a single svc host name and it's going to reduce those processes by a lot now this will not just magically improve the performance but it can certainly help a lot of you guys then going back into the pack and moving on to the most important step that you have been waiting for and that is basically debloating and completely optimizing and overhauling the windows 11 and for that what you need to do is install the bloody nosy setup just go ahead and 
double click on it once it opens up click on next just go ahead and install it any way that you want hit next once again and it's going to install within a couple of seconds actually it's really fast and simple to install so once it has been installed just go ahead and hit close and we're gonna be going ahead and launching it from our desktop so just double click on it no need to run it as admin or anything like that and inside of here this is going to be the initial interface but this program has a lot of layers so i'm gonna be going ahead and guiding you through one by one so the first one is actually the browser as you guys can see that it's going to disable the google chrome as well as mozilla firefox and the bing search button for the edge it's going to disable all of those telemetry which uh, of course protects our privacy as well as increase a little bit of performance by decreasing the number of background tasks that those programs are running and then there is the explorer it's going to show hidden files and file name extensions and then for the desktop it's going to use apps dark theme use windows dark theme disable acrylic fluent design effects disable snap assist that little thing that shows up right here like this one and it's also going to go ahead and remove desktop stickers uninstall widget features disable widgets i mean you can always go ahead and uncheck those if you want for example if you want these widgets to be here which i personally don't like you can go ahead and uncheck those but i would always recommend keeping this on as for the taskbar and the task menu it's going to hide the search bar icon it's going to also hide the task view button as well as the steams button and it's going to go ahead and pin more apps onto the start menu then as for the system it's going to enable full context menus in windows 11 like the ones that you need to go ahead and then do this to get i don't know why microsoft did that but yeah it's also going to go ahead and remove windows 11 windows uh system requirement watermark and if you hover over something it's going to display the description about it like it says microsoft will display with build 22578 desktop watermark on devices where windows 11 is running on unsupported devices or hardware so it's gonna remove that one it's also going to disable the microsoft teams on startup of course remove fax printer xps document viewer disable tpm 2.0 check and of course one of the most important ones is it's going to uninstall one drive uh which i don't know why you would be using it but i would highly recommend that you go ahead and uninstall it right now as for the gaming it's going to disable game dvr disable power throttling which i mean we have already talked about in length about disabling power throttling and it also says that it's going to increase the battery life of your laptops uh, but it also helps with the performance and adjust visual effects for best performance again the advanced system settings shenanigans as for the privacy once again it's going to disable all of the tracks the feedback suggestions advertising ids tailored experiences location tracking and then for the feature recommended we have recommended enabling windows subsystem i'm just gonna go ahead and leave it there as for the bloatware it's going to just remove the based on the private database as well as the search and pre-install software so what you need to do is once everything here is checked hit analyze so once the analysis has been complete it says that if you have checked 41 features we like 10 of them and 31 of them need to be removed and what you need to do is just hit fix and then go ahead and apply fixes hit yes and just let it do its work so as you can see that it's going to ask me for an agreement i'm gonna go ahead and type in y hit enter and then it's gonna go ahead and do its work you can always go ahead and track the process from here as you guys can see that it has uninstalled microsoft wallet it's going to uninstall the sound recorder and all of that good stuff as well but yeah just let it run let it complete its process and then we can move on so now that that has been done what you need to do is go ahead and scroll down and go into the bloat pilot now inside of here you will find a bunch of apps that you can remove from here but what i have done is i have made a list for you guys that you can go ahead and uninstall without messing anything up so all you need to do is just click on these three bars click on import bloatware list and inside of the pack if you go ahead and open up the desktop and then go into the optimization pack that you just downloaded and you click on the my bloatware list.txt hit open and then click on ok and as you guys can see that it has already selected like 20 of these apps and all you need to do now is just click empty bin and remove apps hit yes and then it's gonna go ahead and uninstall all of those that's how simple and how easy it is to remove the bloatware using this pack and my custom list if an error for some of these apps occurs it's completely fine and normal just skip those we are gonna be going ahead and removing those later on anyways so once you're done with that you can go back into the uh, main menu and then click on the win modder now inside of here there's going to be a lot of other important things that we're gonna be doing so i'm gonna go ahead and just close out of the pack and what we're gonna be doing inside of here is first click on explore more and then go ahead and click on install and update mod signature 
signature file because otherwise you won't see this list now once you see this list i want to go ahead and make sure that you download a few things the first one is the remove telemetry the second one is remove onedrive and the third one is the chris titus text windows utility we're going to be going ahead and using this one to just completely optimize windows 11 for the gaming so once you have selected all three of these go ahead and click on download and install mods and as you guys can see the mods have been successfully installed i'm gonna hit ok and then we can go back and inside of the win molder now there are three mods installed the first one that you want to run is just go ahead and click on the remove one drive check it hit apply and then it's gonna go ahead and remove the one drive so as you can see in the mod has been successfully applied and one drive has been removed the second one is disable the services it's going to go ahead and disable all of the unnecessary services but you can always go ahead and just check what those do by clicking on this link i'm gonna go ahead and save this one for later because it's going to disable some of the services that may mess up my recording but all you need to do is just click on it hit apply and it would be done now moving on to the most important one and that is the chris titus tech windows utility just check it hit apply and it's gonna go ahead and download it from the github and then it's going to go ahead and run it so for some reason this chris titus text utility is not running from here so i'm gonna be showing you guys an alternative which is very easy to follow we're gonna be going ahead and running this directly from the github so all you need to do is just go ahead and open up your start menu and search for powershell go ahead and run it as administrator and once it opens up, just go ahead and paste this command that is irm space christitis.com slash win and then the straight line and then iex. Then just go ahead and hit enter and then it's gonna ask you if the uh, chocolatey is installed we're gonna be going ahead and hit yes and it's going to install that so once that has been installed here is the utility so as you guys can see that now it has opened up so if you guys are facing the same issue where it won't run from here all you can do is just use this alternative method and it's going to work completely fine just like it should now the first tab will be the install tab and inside of here you have a bunch of software that you can go ahead and install on your windows especially if you have just installed windows you there is a lot of stuff that you want to install that may be browsers communication like discord or zoom or even for the development like python the node.js and all of that good stuff it's going to go ahead and show you all of the softwares that have already been installed on your pc like you can see when i clicked on get installed it shows all of these check marks these are the softwares that i have already installed so you can always go ahead and uninstall those or upgrade all or even install them again or install other ones but we are not here for that we are here for the tweaks and inside of here there are a few things that i want you to do the first one is disable telemetry the second one is disable wi-fi sense you want this turned off otherwise it's going to constantly keep scanning disable activity history disable temporary files run this cleanup well i mean i would run it manually so i'm not gonna go ahead and do it from here disable tracking location home groups storage sense disable hibernation game dvr and search services to manual now there are a lot of services inside of here and as you guys can see even in the description it says that these are completely harmless and you can always go ahead and revert those by just going ahead and clicking on it and then clicking on the undo selected tweaks later if you want to revert those but yeah that's gonna be it and then we are also going to be going ahead and adding the ultimate power plan so once you click on it go into the start menu search for power options click on edit power plan then go into the power options and inside of here just go ahead and select the ultimate performance close out of it you can always go ahead and create the win utility shortcut on your desktop uh, for example if i go ahead and click it on here as you guys can see now i can just double click on it to run it anytime i want and then for the disable miss tweaks we're going to be going ahead and disabling power throttling and then there is the enable or disable non lock on startup show file extensions yes set display for performance it's going to set the system preference to performance then disable uac it's going to disable that pop-up for the user account control disable tray notifications dpm on update remove all ms store apps we're going to be leaving that for now remove katana remove microsoft edge I highly recommend this one because edge keeps running everywhere without even you opening it up and then set the classic right menu i personally use it it's really up to you disable mouse acceleration and then disable the verbose login message we're going to be going ahead and leaving it as is so just go ahead copy all of this you can always go ahead and select the recommended settings for your desktop for your laptop or for the minimal if you want and also if you're using laptops then go ahead and uncheck this one as well so once you have selected all of this just go ahead and click on run tweaks it's going to run all of those in the background right here and as you guys can see that it's going to go ahead and stop and disable a lot of the services actually here so the tweaks have been finished we're gonna go ahead and click on ok and if i go ahead and open up the task manager right now 
actually i believe it has removed task manager as well so if i open that it's not gonna be opening up right now we can go ahead and restart and check but if the task manager has been removed there are a lot of other alternatives we can use so it's completely normal also another thing that if you want to revert those tweaks you can always just go ahead and click on them once again and then click on undo selected tweaks but i'm not gonna be doing that because i like these disabled but yeah once all of this has been done you can go ahead and close out of this and you can always close out of this as well you can run the utility again through this shortcut and that's basically gonna be it now go ahead and restart your pc and enjoy a much lighter faster and better windows 11 so as you guys can see now that after the restart everything is running completely fine and normal we've got the new context menu everything is in dark mode and the windows is overall much more snappier and faster than it used to be another thing that i forgot to mention before was if you right click and go on to the task manager and inside of here go into the startup apps you can go ahead and disable all of the ones that you won't be using especially the ones that that have a high impact on startup go ahead and click on those and click on disable and since you guys can see that i've already disabled a lot of those actually most of these and that's gonna be it so yeah that's it for this video if this video helps you in any way shape or form then make sure to leave a like down below so that it can reach more people and help them as well and make sure to hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a brand new video but with that i guess i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome